So when we're given an arithmetic sequence, how do we graph it? And when we're given a geometric sequence, how do we graph it? That's what I'm going to show you right now. The key thing here is to realize that each one of these terms can be represented by n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3, etc. And the other thing you can do is you can coordinatize these uh, elements by writing the first term is 3, and then the second term is 5, and the third term is 7, etc. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plot them on the graph here, we've got 1, 3, which is right about there, uh, 2, 5, which is right about there, uh, 3, 7, which is right about there. And what you can see here is that it's going up in a straight line, and that's what arithmetic sequences are. Since they're increasing at the, uh, adding the same amount each time, it's gonna be linear. So that's the key with arithmetic. Now with geometric, we can do the same thing. This is gonna be like our first term, so 1, 3. Our second term is gonna be uh, 2, 6. Our third term is 3, 12, etc. If we plot these, let's see what we get. 1, 3 would be right about here. Uh, 2, 6 is right about here. 3, 12 is about here, I'm counting by fives on the y. Uh, let's see, 4 would be uh, 24, so now we're up here. And then uh, term number 5 is going to be 48, way up here. So you can see what's happening with this one. If we were to draw a line through it, it's actually growing exponentially. And that's the idea with the uh, geometric sequences. If you want to learn more about sequences and series, I go through all different aspects of that in the video right there. So go ahead and check that out, and I'll see you over in that video.